Hey everybody, Chris Ann here, Christmas coach and founder of Christmas Organizing. I'm so excited. I have learned a new craft, I guess you could say. And um, I want to share what I learned with you and maybe you can incorporate it into your Christmas decorating because I am. And what is it? Well, it's making balloon arches or garlands, things like that. And so I have kind of gone crazy. <laughs> uh, for those of you who do not know, I am in a FCE club here in Tennessee. And that is what used to be known as homemaker clubs or uh, home demonstration clubs. And a lot of people know it by some different names, but currently it's called Family Community Education Clubs. And we did a workshop where we learned how to do these balloon garlands. And I am just obsessed now. So I went on Amazon and found kits to do Christmas things. This kit here has candy canes and clear balloons and just all different kinds. There's all kinds of different garland kits out there. And while they're really cool, this is a really great way to get the balloons and stuff. Um, I have some tips and tricks that I've learned that I want to share with you. And this is going to kind of be a series of videos because um, I'm going to show you blowing up the balloons right now and kind of some of the basics of what I'm going to be doing. But then I want to try some different things for some different decorating um, things that we'll be doing during Christmas. So as you can see, I have balloons here, red and white. Um, and I have a, I'm not blowing all these balloons up by hand. I have a handy dandy balloon blower upper. And so this is really cool. Um, it does have a tire on it, like where you can tie it, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. So I'm just using my fingers. So what you do, what the first thing you do is, you take your little latex balloons and you put them on the two different ones and yes we're blowing two up at a time and pardon the noise here for a second we got them blown up like this okay so the first thing you're gonna do once you get your balloons blowing up is you're gonna turn them around so that the that part is out there and you're gonna take them and you know if you have really little kids you may not want to have to explain all this so have them leave the room but you're gonna take them and press them against your chest and you're gonna make nice round, not necessarily the same size, but what you wanna do is you wanna have nice little round balloons. So, and the best way to do that is just to press it against your chest. I'll show you the kind that you don't wanna have in a minute. And then you take them and you just tie them together so that you get a twosome here. And I don't know if you can do the two tying together on the this little thing or not. So, I don't know. Um, and it's okay to have different sizes. Oops, I didn't get that tied good. Oop. Let me blow another one up. You know what? I'm going to use this as an opportunity to show you. So, this has a little sensitive switch on it. So, I think I'm supposed to put the balloon on this side first. But I'm going to blow. And it's best if you blow them up at two at a time. So give me a second here. Okay, you see how this one is like cone shaped? It's not rounded, it's too pointy like that. That's what you don't want. You don't want that because it's not gonna make for a nice um, display. So that's why we're going to take them and push and push and let some of that air out and make them into some nice round balloons, okay? And then we're gonna tie them together again. All right, so now I have these two balloons that are there. Yes, they are different sizes and different colors. You can do several different things um, with that. I'm gonna throw them over here and I am going to do two more so I can show you well, there you go again that's that con that um, elongated 
balloon, and we want round balloon, so we're gonna press, 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 press. And now we have some rounded balloons. All right, time together again. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is take these two that are tied together and these two that are tied together and we're gonna twist them together so you just kind of twist them around so that they make a little four type of thing like this I'm trying to feel if I feel some air coming out I can't ever tell all right so now we have this little little one like this so I am going to see if I can grab another foursome back here. All right. So here's another foursome that I already did. And you're like, okay, so how is this going to make a garland? Well, let me show you. There's a couple of different ways to do it. And I'm going to show you first how we were taught in the class. <clears throat> that worked out really, really great. Um, and then I'm going to show you what comes with most of these kits that I'm still trying to get the feel of. Um, but what this is, this is a, what they call a 260 balloon, and it's just a long balloon, and all of this stuff, the, the kits, um, the balloon blower upper, the 260, um, balloons, it's all out on my Amazon, uh, store, so, um, you can go out there and find that, um, but what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take this 260 balloon, I don't know if you can see it here or not. And I'm going to tie one end to this set of four. Okay. I'm going to tie it in a knot so it doesn't come undone. All right. She originally tried to show us how to do it using um, fishing twine. But I couldn't get the hang of that. And then she brought out these, these balloons, these 260 balloons. You know, they're the kind that you do for animal characters and stuff like that. And this works so good, and I could do it. So now I'm going to take the other end, and I'm going to put it in here. And I'm going to tie it off on this other one. Okay. Again, tie it in a little knot. So it's nice and good. Y'all, I have just become obsessed with this. I love this, and th my whole decorations this year is going to be balloons. And yes, I don't know how long they're going to last, so you'll go on that journey with me. All right, so now we have, <laughs> we have two sets of our four balloons, two on each end. And so what we are going to do is we're going to blow up, or I'm going to see if I can find another set. That's a set of two. Let me see if I can find another set here. These are a bunch of them that I've already blown up. Um, okay, so here's another set of four. So, I am going to take it, and I'm going to open this up to where this other, where I had some more balloon in here, and I am going to twist these other two <laughs> balloons in from the middle in the the stretchy part that was still left over through that to get ta-da now we've got this together okay and we're gonna keep doing that until we run out of or until we get to the length that we want it to so um, you can still continue to tie additional uh, balloon balloon parts together using using the 260 so I'm not gonna keep sitting here doing it we will come back and I'll show you the finished um, finished product later on I sit here and blow up my balloons on TV commercials or while I'm watching TV if it's an uninteresting part all right so I'm gonna set those there now here is the one that has this this thing on here and you can add them in one at a time where did I do with that one balloon? So what happens is, what I think is supposed to happen, because I haven't had any in formal instructions on this, you take one balloon at a time, and you pull it in here, and you secure it like that. Okay? So, 
you would then just keep doing that. Now that's not what I did on this end. So what I did on this end was I took my twosome balloons. So let me pull this twosome balloons back out. Oh, my balloons are getting ready to fall. And I took one of the ends of the balloon and I pulled it through one of the holes. So I'm gonna go back up here closer in so I can get it. You know, you want it to be nice and full. <laughs> You don't want it to be um, you don't want it to be have lots of space in between because then you're going to be able to see um, how it's being held together and stuff. The goal is to have balloon coverage. All right. So I'm pulling that in. Oh, and I just pushed that one off. But I pulled that in, so now you can see that. So that's how I did that versus the single ones. But I'm going to do a row of single ones also so that we can see the difference and decide later on which one we like better. Um, so one of the things is, too, is that it's really best to have multiple sizes of balloons. And so... This kit did not come with different sizes. They all seem to be the same size, except for the Mylar ones. Um, so what I have been doing is, you know, you can look here and see, well, you have different sizes. I have been doing different sizes with how much air I've been putting in them. So you can regulate that part. All right, so that is our beginning tutorial on blowing up balloons. Find you a kit, order it, Get you a balloon blower upper and don't forget to get your um, 260 balloons and start blowing up balloons and tying them into fours and I will catch you on the next video where I will have made some more items and I'm really excited to um, I want to make some decorations I got some Santa buckets I got some different things to try and you're gonna come along with that journey with me to try them see how they work. Maybe you have some ideas of some different things I could do. Um, but I'm just all excited because I want to make some like tablescapes and things like that too. So all for Christmas. And of course this can always be applied to other things for birthday parties, you know, things like that. Valentine's Day, red and white would go real good with Valentine's Day. Whatever you want to. Um, of course I don't have any green in with these because I'm doing the red and white candy canes um, on both of the sets. So, all right. So, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to know when I put out my next video. And thank you so much for watching. And please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think and or if you have any other ideas. All right. Catch y'all later.